Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Five Drinks for Midnight, Quarantine Ooh. Edition. Today we're talking to Theo Calisides, the founder of Star Shaker, the best place to get your bar tools. But before we do, like and subscribe. All right, <laughs> Theo, thank you so much for joining us. Five Drinks for Midnight. Uh, five questions, five drinks, midnight, whatever comes first. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me in your show, okay? <laughs> uh, Whiskey uh, Wednesday show. Yes. So uh, I guess the first thing is, what, what are we drinking? Uh, I, I say that uh, we, I'm a big fan of uh, matcha tea. So I, I prepare my matcha tea here. Excellent. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. And I, I love to have a, a tea before I start drinking. Uh, sometimes it's good for my stomach, sometimes I just like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today is uh, one of these uh, times. Yeah, I just like it, I mean. So, I guess then jumping into question one, uh, how does a guy from Greece end up with the best online bar tool site? <laughs> Yeah, so it's a, it's a, actually it's a big story, um, but it's sometimes, I mean, at the beginning it was obvious that I, I wanted to start something like uh, this kind of business, but uh, let's start from the beginning. Um, I, I jumped behind, behind the bar like uh, 12, 13 years ago, and I was always curious about cocktails, uh, imagine that 13 years ago, there wasn't a big uh, cocktail culture here in Greece. So I was I was very curious about cocktails, about uh, bar tools, about how to make the best cocktail and stuff like that. So I was trying to search online uh, about shakers, strainers and stuff like that. Um, I, w I had no luck at the beginning as uh, the industry wasn't so big and um, some suppliers had the basic, uh, like the basic shaker, the basic fine strainer, the conical one, not big deal, you know. Uh, no no uh, ice carving tools at all. I mean, no, no one uh, uh, um, was messing with uh, ice carving yep. or ice or stuff like that. So, uh, we had no culture of uh, ice carving, and um, so I was trying to find out how um, to find cheaper products. Okay, and uh, I searched again online. Uh, I found some Japanese uh, stores and stuff like that, and um, I realized that uh, the profit was huge. They buy. They, they used to buy, for example. Uh, well, 15 to 20 euros a jigger and sell it double the price of two and a half. So I thought that um, I used to, I, I am a bartender, I, I was a bartender then. And um, I think that if I if I open a store that sells half the price, I have a, a small profit and uh, people is bu are buying cheaper. Uh, this is the best ratio for everyone. This yeah. is, everyone will be happy. My suppliers will be happy because I will be busy. Uh, I will be happy because I will make a small profit. I'm not, I, I, I won't be a millionaire, but that's fine by me. And uh, also my customers will be happy because um, they're buying a cheaper product than everywhere else. And that was how, how the idea was born in 2013. Uh, and that's how I started. Um, now, let, let, let just, let's have a sip first. Yeah. Because um, when I said that story, when I say that story, I'm, uh, every time I'm, I'm very excited, so... Gotcha. <laughs> um, I, I'm talking too much, sorry. No, no, this is great. Uh, There's never too much. Yeah. 2013, as I said, I, we started. And also, uh, in that year, in that period, uh, the Japanese barware, the Japanese bar tools were super, super um, famous. You know, everyone was looking for Japanese barware, for big spoons, uh, yeah. 
for uh, ice tools and stuff like that. Uh, people were starting to work with ice as well, clear ice and uh, ice blocks and uh, ice balls and carving and stuff like that. So that's why I, I, I focused on uh, the Japanese uh, uh, barware uh, and bar suppliers, uh, bar tool suppliers. And uh, that, that, that's the story, actually. That, that's how we started. Um, yeah, yeah. And the funny part is that my first order from uh, my supplier was like four jiggers and uh, three strainers. And uh, so now, now we're buying like thousands uh, of them. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the industry support, supports uh, a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very grateful. Uh, I have no words about uh, all, all my customers. I mean, I, I thank them from my deep in my heart, as they say. Well, and again, I mean, your site is amazing. The shipping, the prices are amazing. Shipping is absolutely killer. Like that, that is one of the, the best things about the service that, I, I mean, I still brag about what I tell people is they have to order from you. It's that you can get it literally within 48 hours from you. Like it, it literally yeah. at your doorstep within 48 hours. So like, <laughs> exactly. all my ice knives come from you. So like that, that's every, like, yeah. I have a whole drawer in my toolbox that is just dedicated. <laughs> I remember the photo, yeah. <laughs> All right, on to question two. What are we drinking? I am having a shot of uh, vermouth. Okay. It's like a big shot, but uh, still a shot. <laughs> Same, so. Cheers. <laughs> so, question two. What's the one bar tool that you can't live without? Ah, uh, so it's a very difficult question. Huh? <laughs> um, I think my favorite one is, uh, as I told you, I, I, I love the Japanese culture and the, how they do things and stuff like that. Um, I love a lot the handmade, uh, handmade battle. Okay. So um, my favorite one is. Um, the uh, Yamatsu ice pick. Yeah, as as the as I, I've been there, I saw the the guy making uh, the pick by his uh, bare hands. So that's why it's my one of my favorite ones. Excellent. <laughs> that's good. No, that's a, and we can get that on your site. So it's. <laughs> What's your favorite? Uh, again, I mean, not really a bar man, but I mean, I, I'm still like, I mean, my ice knife is literally like, I mean, that's why I have so many of them. And like, it, it just, I think having like a good, solid Damascus steel ice knife that I got from you guys is, I use it for everything. Like, <laughs> you go ahead and, you know, get a corn rind from it. You can cut the ice, you can break the ice. You can carbon ice, you can do anything with it. So like it literally, you can stir with it. It, it does everything. So that's... <laughs> yeah. And again, it um, looks like a samurai sword. So it, it literally, you just pull it right from the sheath and you're ready to go, so. <laughs> the fun part is that um, every time I see uh, uh, overseas um, an ice saw or an ice carving knife, I'm always thinking uh, if, um, the buyer will use it properly because I'm, I'm, I'm really afraid that maybe someday I will see the news and uh, someone will cut uh, someone's head with uh, an eye shot and stuff like that. So I'm, uh, I'm always concerned uh, if um, the buyer is going to use it uh, properly. Okay. <laughs> All right. So on to question three, what are we drinking first? Uh, we're drinking uh, a Campari shot. I have it here Excellent. with my uh, orange uh, zest, orange uh, peel. All right. Okay. Enjoy. Cheers. 
Oh. All right. So, question three. As a bartender and a guy that runs the coolest uh, bar accessory shop, uh, what is your go-to boozy drink? Okay, so, uh, I used to drink a lot of cocktails. I used to try a lot of cocktails. Uh, so, one of my favorite cocktails uh, was the Manhattan, okay. and still is, uh, because I like whiskey and I like vermouth as well. So I like that mix, and um, yeah, one of my favorite uh, cocktails is uh, it's still Manhattan. But uh, when it comes to a drink, I think Campari is uh, one of my favorite. I mean, the, the most like favorite one, the, the one that I easily have without thinking and without uh, uh, you know talking a lot and yeah. stuff like that. And it's not a tough decision. So. Uh, I used to have it with uh, straight, with ice, or with uh, soda or tonic, depends. Uh, normally, I, I, I ordered uh, Campari with tonic. All right, so on to question four. What are we drinking next? Uh, we're having a gin and tonic. And, uh, the second favorite drink. Yeah, here you are. Cheers. All right. Okay, so question four. As a guy that is a bartender and also runs Star Shaker, uh, what are like the five main tools you think a home bartender should have? Wow, this is a great question. So this is, uh, this depends actually, what's your favorite drink, you know? So if you like, uh, Still drinks like Negronis, Manhattan, stuff like that. There is no need to buy a shaker or a strainer or I don't know. Um, uh, the basic, the basic uh, um, uh, tool you, you you must have if you are like a, a cocktail enthusiast or uh, you, you you like making cocktails at home is a jigger. As uh, this is the best the best tool to measure things, to measure drinks and. Uh, this is uh, uh, the best tool to make your drinks perfect. As you can measure uh, exact uh, uh, the ML that uh, the recipe says. So I think number one is Jigger, okay. of course. Um, let's say if you like uh, steel drinks, uh, number two is uh, a bar spoon uh, and, uh, uh, and a mixing glass. Let's say that's number two and number three. Okay. Um, then if you use, uh, even if you use shaker or if you use a mixing glass and like, like shaker drinks or if you like steel drinks, uh, you will need definitely um, uh, a strainer because you need something to hold your eyes. So um, number four is strainer. Okay, depends, as I told you, if you are using, um, um, you're using uh, a shaker, you need a, a strainer with no prongs. Uh, if you're using a mixing glass, maybe a julep strainer will fit, maybe a strainer with prongs will fit. Will fit. Uh, it's actually what you like. So, we have the four uh, main uh, tools that is, if you like like steel drinks, we have the jiggy, we have the mixing glass, we have the spoon, and we have the strainer. And then if you like uh, uh, shaking drinks, shaker is the number one that you, you can have. Excellent. Young bartenders, they're starting by uh, this kind of sets uh, to start uh, their career, let me say. So this is a basic set, uh, you can have it, I mean, you don't need a, like a nice carving knife, you don't need uh, like a nice pick at the beginning, you definitely need um, uh, the jigger, you definitely need the uh, strainer, and then it depends if you like steel or shaking drinks, uh, either uh, mixing glass or spoon or shake. So here we have the, uh, it's, it's a, in an old fashioned glass, but it's uh, still a highball. 
for some reason uh, they, they 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 shave it here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> The road. I put an old fashioned glass, so what you can say, yeah? Yeah, it's a low ball. So. <laughs> it's a low ball, yeah. It's a low ball. Uh, all right, so I'm the question five. Uh, our question five is a flip the whiskey Wednesday coin. Uh, you can spin it, you can flip it, but the coin gives us the answer. Uh, before okay. We get to that, what are we? We're drinking highballs? Yeah, we drink highballs in an old-fashioned glass. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right. Well, that's good. Question five. Does vermouth go in the fridge? Yeah, here is the, the coin. Do you have to see it or you trust me? I trust I you. Trust, you trust me, yes. Sir. I trust you. Okay. Let me, let, let me flip it so you can see it as well. Flipping. But no. Yeah. Let's flip it again because I, I really want to have a drink. Huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so here I make my own decision. So I have a drink. Uh, no coin will decide for me. There you go. So <laughs> let's have a drink. Huh? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Well. Leo, you know, that's five drinks, five questions. <laughs> Not even midnight yet. Still sun is shining in Greece. <laughs> New York. So thank you yeah. so much for your time. Cheers to you, my friend. Uh, Cheers. I, I hope we can do this again, but in person. So uh, exactly. Peace. Cheers. Thank you so much. Enjoy.